Yeah, distinguished senator uh, for yielding. Senator Hovind, thank you for your leadership on this issue and for bringing this to the attention of all members, uh, more especially those of us in our conference, but this should be a bipartisan uh, effort. So I rise today, Mr. President, to join my colleagues in discussing yet another, yet another job stifling and unjustified regulation uh, proposed by this administration. The EPA, the Army Corps of Engineers, <clears throat> and the Department of Agriculture, uh, what, the three horsemen of the regulatory um, apocalypse, have proposed a rule that after careful review and study, we believe would allow the EPA to further expand its control of private property, control of private property under the guise of the Clean Water Act. And they claim that the proposed Waters of the United States rule simply clarifies their scope of jurisdiction. Well, here's the catch. The, quote, clarification is from categorically classifying so-called other waters as regulated, even if the water cannot be navigated and was previously outside of their authority. This proposal is another example of why many Kansans, <coughs> many farmers and ranchers from Wyoming, South Dakota, and North Dakota, feel that their way of life is under attack by the federal government's overreach and overregulation. To date, the Kansas Association's of grain and feed, agribusiness retailers, ethanol producers, soybeans, wheat growers, pork producers, livestock, watersheds, golf course superintendents, and the Kansas Cooperative Council all have opposed this rule. Similar organizations in Wyoming and North and South Dakota and all across farm country have also been in contact with their senators. These organizations and their members fear that the EPA will use this rule to further regulate farmers and ranchers as well as other normal land uses such as building homes. If finalized, this rule could have the EPA requiring a permit for ordinary field work or the construction of a fence or even planting crops near certain waters. Kansans are justifiably worried that the permits would be time-consuming, costly, and that the EPA could ultimately deny the permits even for long-standing and normal practices, even practices that help the environment. A friend of mine, Kansas farmer Jim Sipes, he's out there in Manor, Kansas. That's way out there. That's way out there by the Colorado border. Still hasn't got much rain after three years. He explains his view, <clears throat> said the only thing that is clear and certain is that under this rule, it will be more difficult to farm and ranch or to make changes to the land, even if those changes would benefit the environment. He knows what he's talking about. For the folks back home, the issue of the EPA trying to control more water, whether or not it is actually navigable, this isn't new. We've had this before. We've been down a similar road before with the agency wanting to regulate all of the water in the country, even in small farm ponds, I would tell my colleagues, that no self-respecting duck would ever land. Now, I think maybe that there is a file, Senator Hoven. Um, I think there's a file down there in the basement of the EPA, it must be a big one, uh, rural fugitive dust, um, the navigable waters uh, situation, um, endangered species, so that uh, the taking of farmers' ground to force them to plant native prairie grass to save the lesser prey chicken, which we can't even find, on and on and on and on. I think it must be labeled, what drives farmers and ranchers crazy? And about every second foggy night, why somebody pulls up that, that file and we go through the whole thing again. I mean, it isn't like we haven't done this before on this issue. So after personally calling on the EPA and Army Corps to withdraw the proposed rule, I want to make sure that the expansion of regulatory jurisdiction of the waters of the United States, let's shelve it for good. Let's shelve it for good. Last week, I uh, joined the distinguished senator from Wyoming, uh, Senator Barrasso, and the majority of our caucus in introducing the straightforward legislation that prohibits the administrator of the EPA and the secretary of the Army, the secretary of the Army, for goodness sakes, for finalizing the rule or trying to similar, uh, a similar regulation in the future. Put the file back, you know, just haul it away. 
maybe put it somewhere where the hard drive is that uh, Lois Lerner lost. We will continue working here in the Senate as well as the House either to convince the administration to back off this proposal or, if necessary, to block the agencies from moving forward. We have stopped this type of foolishness before, and I expect that we will be successful again, and I thank my colleagues uh, for their arduous efforts. Senator Hovind, thank you for leading this.